Hi, I'm Shelly, and I'm a member of the Forever team. I'm excited to give you a bird's eye view of my Forever account. This is my home screen. I call it my digital bookshelf. Each photo that you see here represents an album of photos. I'll scroll down so you can see the variety of things that I've preserved on my Forever account. And then I'll click into an album and show you that view. As I scroll down, you can see many of my old family photos, some dating back to the 1800s. Some of these photos have been framed and are currently hanging on the walls of my parents' home, but most of them are deteriorating away in boxes. There has been no way to display all of them. Having them scanned and put into my Forever account has been so rewarding to my family because now they are safe and they're easily viewable by my entire family right from any web browser. This is incredible considering the fact that I have family living all over the world. You will see family documents that have been scanned in and are preserved permanently from fire, floods, and deterioration. I also have four traditional scrapbooks that my grandmother created dating back to the late 1800s. They've actually survived two hurricanes in Florida, and it is a relief knowing now that they are safe from all disasters. I have digital scrapbook pages that I have uploaded right into my account. Over the years, I have been dodging computer crashes and hard drive failures. I have peace of mind now knowing that they are safe in their permanent home. Also, I have loved the fact that I can show these pages off to people right from my phone. Gone are the days of carrying my scrapbooks around in order to show them off. You will see that I have saved my kids' artwork as well. When my kids bring great artwork home, I immediately lay it on the counter, take a picture of it with my phone, and easily send it up into my Forever account. I keep a few of their pieces, but most of them I get rid of because I have them neatly organized on Forever. I have an album called Phone Photos. I have my phone app set to automatically back up all of my photos into my Forever account in case I ever lose my phone. Let's take a look at an album. My grandmother's dance album is a treasure to my family. I'm gonna go into that album by clicking on the center. On the left, you see I have recorded a description of the album and also tagged it for my grandmother's name so I can easily retrieve all of her photos with just one click. And I will click at the bottom to move through the album. Let's go back to the home screen. I am going to scroll up and take you into my Family Heritage album. But instead of clicking into the album, I'm going to click on the upper left-hand corner, which will take us into the library. I am now in the library view and can see my entire album. This is where I do all the organizing. I have titled and described this album, and from here, I can click into each photo as well. I will click into the first photo. On the left, I have entered a description of this photo, and underneath, I have tagged it with three tags, George Lochner, Louise Lochner, and Beck Heritage Photos. I can see that I have this photo in two albums, Beck Family Heritage Photos and Maternal Ancestors. And again, I can flip through my photo album from here. I'm going to head back to my library and show you my tagging system. On the left, you will see my list of albums and my list of tags. My tags include people's names, documents, and subjects. I'll click on my great-grandmother, Doris Sherry Beck, and we can see all of her photos. Next, I will click on Family Documents and see all of the documents that I have tagged in this category. I want to show you this set of documents. It shows my family history beginning in England in 1674. It is a miracle that these documents still exist, and now they will be saved for future generations to see. Now I'll click on my daughter, Grace Johnson, and up comes all the photos where she has been tagged. One last important way that I use my Forever account is to share photos. I keep my kids' photos off of social media, so I privately share through Forever. Last weekend, for example, I took my kids skiing. Here is the album of photos that I took. I wanted to share these photos with family members who live across the world. Once I had created the album, if they are friends with me on Forever, then they can come in and see my album. But I also like to surprise my mom with photos via email. So if I click Share Album, I can send her all of these photos in one email so she can see them quickly without having to download each one. 
and it is also private so I don't have to worry about my photos getting into the wrong hands. There is so much more that I could share with you, but again, this is just a bird's eye view of how I use my account. I hope you've enjoyed this tour. If you'd like to hear more, please stop by and see us at the Forever booth.